I really want you guys to understand that time is running out. And a lot of black people say that, but for real. Part of why the civil rights movement has been so successful and part of why those who have come after in terms of our leadership have been able to maintain a presence is that black people have always had a certain amount of moral currency that we have been using. And let me be the first to tell you, that's used up. What's going on, family? So I saw this clip and I decided, you know what? This is a weird take from Mr. Aaron Magruder. Now, we all know about the boondocks. We've all come to go and love the boondocks, how it is displayed and poke fun at the ills of our community. You know, the, the, the coons, the Uncle Ruckuses, uh, so forth and so on. Like, you know, Tom, Uncle Tom. Uh, you got the Huey and Riley. You got the, uh, the polar opposites of one another. One that's very black empowerment, you know, uh, very righteous, and the other one who's ratchet. He's like, hey, man, get it how you live. And so I was like, why is he saying this? This don't make any sense. Well, we're going to let him keep talking, and then we're going to dive right into it. White America has been watching us act like fools. Who's us? Who's us? For a long enough time where any sympathy they may have had to our plight is completely gone. You're approaching a country that forget hating black people or not hating black people. They just don't care. News flash here and they never cared. En masse, E-N-M-A-S-S-E. -S -S -E. They've never cared whatsoever. It's always been about domination and deprivation of resources will continue. You can be talking about affirmative action. They can be like, I, I don't care. <laughs> it literally is of no importance to me. I don't care about slavery. I don't care about segregation. I don't care about you. I don't care how many of you all go to jail. I care. I don't care at all. Affirmative action worked more for white women and Asians before Asians said, well, that's the reason why black people are doing better in school. And then they tried to do all the suing thing. And then they found out, well, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. I digress. Because I'm broke. They got a billion dollars worth of whiteness. Shout out to Kyle Rittenhouse. You can't be the proud, noble fighter when every single time someone sees a person that looks like you on television, they're acting like a damn fool. How would they know? How would they know you're not a damn fool? That's why we delineate it. Because we start to realize, hey, we're taking on a lot of blame and accountability for people who really don't look like us. And that ain't our culture like that. We we don't really walk like that. You know, we got a few hard heads. We do. We're not perfect. We don't walk on water. But we don't we don't operate like that. Wait, they're gonna talk to you? Yeah, right. This is what we're facing. Now, this was not a very motivational speech because I'm not a motivational speaker. Do tell, Mr. Magruder. Do tell. <laughs> I got to be honest. No, wait. That don't matter to me. I'm a critic. Did y'all see the hairline with, with the brother that had the glasses? <laughs> I know you saw the hairline. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. I'm not here to tell you you can do it, because you know what? Maybe you just can't do it. I'm going to be real. Did he just pull an Obama? He is mixed, by the way. His mom is non-black. Now, it's been actually very hard finding his dad's background, his lineage, because they moved from, I believe, Maryland to Chicago for work. His dad moved there for work. Uh, his mom was a homemaker, so it's not a lot about her. So, yeah, I don't, I'm getting some tether vibes from my brother, surely on the mother's side, but you really can't find too much about the dad. Let him continue, though. I'm going to be real. I hope you can do it. I hope to God you can do it. You better do it. Was well, that a black scent, y'all? It almost sounded like you better think of you, you member. 
Don't or maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm doing the most, family. Let me know if I'm doing the most. All right. Make sure you do that in the comments below the like button. Because if you don't, will you suffer? Yeah. But oh, your kids are gonna catch hell. Uh, brother, unfortunately, they're catching bullets and random charges. They're being locked up for taking trash out. They're being gaffled up, driving through the street. They're getting maced, riding through the girlfriend on the college, riding with the girlfriend through college campuses. It's a lot worse than it, brother, but it's not because black folk as a whole are acting a fool. It's just white supremacy, brother. It's, it's okay. It's okay. That's why we don't let. Uh, the mixed crowd, if you m poor, tragic mulattoes, you wonder why we call you that. It's because y'all get up here and y'all want to start wagging your finger at black folk and saying, well, if y'all just stop acting like animals and uh, and, 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 and uh, act like me and Michelle and, and, and show yourselves to be good, upset citizens. And, and, and yes, we can. And, and, and thank a union member, okay? <laughs> to really do that, see, have some collard greens in the, in the bathtub, okay? And then... I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm letting him finish. I'm letting him finish. You guys are it. Don't think about Jesse. Don't think about Al. They will not be there. That didn't age well, did it? Because they're still around. Al more so than Jesse. They're still a non-factor when it's all said and done. But, but they're still around. So, ah. Family. Even though we have people who do some great things, like I think Boondocks did a, a great thing in the community, and even though the last season was kind of kind of trash, I feel like it became more corporatized and they started directing the content there. I always want to be cognizant and not be so bought into people that we don't think they can flip or they have ulterior motives. Because... I saw this clip and I was like, oh, I know he's going to say something dope. Sarah McGrew, the boondocks. Now, I listen to it. I'm like, what? Now, mind you, we did have the delineation movement since, what, the last four or five years? We've had the delineation movement going on so heavy these last five or six years or so. Plus, we've been bucking with the Dems. We have have completely 180 our mindset. So maybe five, six, maybe even seven years ago, I probably would have heard this from like, yeah, we got to do better. Black folk, it's us. It's our fault. We got to, you know, in that self-deprecation. No, family. We're doing what we're supposed to do. We're pointing out. When we've always been when we've always been a people to point out the BS and say, hey, we, we, don't, we don't rock with that. What you doing? You being weird, bro. And we about to do something because, you know, YouTube's weird. We about to uh, have a special kind of type of conversation away from everybody and these cameras. If you catch my drift. So, family, don't beat yourself up. Don't let Negroes like this sit there and finger wag because they grew up culturally different. You had a stay-at-home mom, non-black. You're with your mom who teaches you the mother tongue, who teaches you everything about yourself for the most part, and she cultivates who you are. And you just happen to have melanin from your dad, and you're in Chicago. Family, don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up. Always keep it B1, FBA all day. Stay on code. If you're my supporting your brother, getting one of these Tether Please shirts, uh, getting the FBA, I'm FBA nigga or FBA all day shirt. And I'm still working on those uh, other uh, T-shirts. I screenshot all that stuff. So I'm going to go back through that and put up a few designs and let you guys decide on which one we're going to do and a price point. All right. Make sure you also subscribe to my other channel. I got a couple of dope videos on there as well. I'm going to put more content over there, build that up. We're already getting the watch hours up there, family. We just need over about 300 subscribers over there to get it to be monetized. And then we can really cook and really put in that work. Thank you, family. Be one.